Zane Clive Fulcher with Abraham Almonte, Otters TV. Welcome to Otters TV. This is our first time we've talked with you this uh, season. So obviously uh, you guys are in the heat of a playoff race with two other teams now, Southern Illinois is in the mix, and Florence has been in the back and forth with you guys all year. So as you kind of go down the stretch in your role with the team, in terms of pitching, how do you try to stay in your sharpest knowing that you're going to be called? Well, I think the biggest thing for me or anyone is just to stay in the moment and go pitch by pitch. I mean, it's easy to see like what's far ahead and what's the possibilities of us making the playoffs and making a really big run. But like, I think the best thing for me, myself, is just to stay in the moment and kind of keep all those extra clouded thoughts like away and just stay in with the job at hand. Right, and then uh, as a collegiate player, you were really, really good in that your alma mater, one of the first uh, draftees in a long, long time. Right. So, you know, kind of having that pressure, you know, at least in college, knowing that you're a quality player and you're probably going to get drafted, how did you kind of manage the emotions and not go too high or low? Well, I mean, yeah, there were like a lot of scouts at every single one of my starts, but I was a firm believer of until my name was called, I didn't believe it at all. Right. You know, like I. I didn't believe anything that anyone would tell me because I've seen it happen too many times and because not many people had gotten called before me, it wasn't something that I saw happening, you know, even though there were a lot of telltale signs that would tell me that there's a pretty good shot this is going to happen. So I just tried to stay like within within it, like not let it kind of affect me too much. Right, and then uh, I've asked a lot of uh, guys who have played for the Otters the last couple of years on Otters TV, those who were drafted. There have been a lot of changes with Major League Baseball and MILB in terms of the draft. Do you like the changes or do you not like the changes in terms of you know reducing the amount of rounds in selection? Um, I mean, I, I, I understand both sides. Right. I understand what the MLB is doing, trying to shorten it and make it more profitable and for many other reasons. But, you know, I was one of those later draft guys and I had the opportunity to get my name called. And I know there's a lot of people that were drafted around where I was drafted and I made it to the big leagues. And I feel like there might be a lot of missed opportunities there. So, I mean, it, you know, I understand both sides of it, but, you know, it's kind of like what's being done now and kind of have to deal with it, I think. And then in terms of playing affiliated baseball, what did you learn about yourself as a baseball player that helped you grow into what you are today? Well, you know, I came from a division, a really small division two school in Philadelphia, Northeast, you know, D2 guy. And, you know, that sense of belonging right away, I was able to have a lot of success early, which allowed me to kind of, you know, feel extremely comfortable and be like, oh, I actually do belong here. And, you know, just kind of understanding the length of the season and, you know, the ups and downs of the season because the season is uh, really long. So just kind of managing the roller coaster ride a bit and understanding that this is a ride and you kind of have to not get too high on the highs or too low on the lows and just kind of understand where you are and stay in the moment. Do you, do you like performing and pitching at Bossy Field or is it? Not good. A lot of pitchers we talk to, they talk about the sun. And yeah. now when you're starting, there's some negatives to it. Are you pro or pro? I mean, I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I like the historic aspect of this place, and it's a dirt mound, which in this league you don't see a lot of. Right. So as long as there's dirt and clay, I feel really comfortable there. I like it. So you're not a field turf uh, fan. Oh, if no. you had to pick, you'd do oh, national brands. 100%. 100%. Is there, is there something different then? You, you wear a different type of shoe. With well, yeah, you, you're, you're wearing plastic cleats, and for me personally, I feel like I don't have enough like really good grip with it. Okay. So with the dirt, I feel like I can kind of sink in and like right. fall my feet into the dirt, and I just feel more powerful. So right. any little edge you could have on the mound in terms of like feeling strong is definitely an advantage for myself. So one final thing I want to ask about: you guys are going to be in the midst of a nine-game. Still come back to Bossy Field for six more of the last week of the regular season, but nine games is quite a haul on the road, even though it is relatively short to travel with the opponents. But how do you kind of stay locked in and focus knowing that you don't have the familiar surroundings here at Evansville and Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, maintaining your routine. And, you know, it's a little bit different. You're not home, you're not used to, like, 
home routine, so there is a different sense of routine when you're on the road, but I mean, it's part of the game, right? right. And guys, guys at every single level deal with it, it's just part of it. And, you know, there are, there are pluses of playing on the road, and you've got nice hotel beds and stuff, right. so it's not too bad, you know? Right. So, well, wishing you guys all the best, and we'll see you back uh, for the final homestand with Abraham Almonte. I'm Zane Claude Felter, and this has been Otters TV.